So we are back and we are going to be talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta, Kim Zosiak and her soon to be ex-husband, Croy Bierman. And the reason we are going to be talking about them is because you have seen the videos that I've already done on the two of them. If you haven't, please go back and check those videos out. Please make sure you like and comment in those videos leading up to this video here. The reason we're talking about it is because Kim has been interviewed and she's been interviewed about some allegations that Croy made about her saying that she basically cheated on him because she was, as he said in his rant, fucking other men. Now, it took a moment for Kim, I guess, to internalize everything that Croy was saying. But now that she has finally internalized it, she came out just recently. She did an interview and she said that she denies those allegations in every way possible and that Croy is slandering her and that she's even considering filing a, uh, I guess, a lawsuit in a way or taking legal action in a way uh, from the words that he used. Now, this is what I'm going to say, because again, this is an open conversation for you guys to jump in on how you feel. Remember, I just say how I feel, which is my opinion, but you have your opinion as well. And this is what I feel about it. Number one, Croy was angry and he is still angry about everything that they're going over within that marriage. From the finances to losing the house to losing the automobiles and the, the Range Rover and everything else, uh, having to sell clothes, uh, shoes, everything that they're owning, the the little was it three hundred thousand? It's it's even less than that now. Nothing is coming in financially that's going to be able to help sustain them to where they are. They haven't left out of the house yet. A lot of people are saying, well, why are they still in the house? How are they still in the house? It doesn't matter either way. All you need to know is this. They have to leave the house. They went to the judge to see if the judge would put a stay on it so that they can continue to stay in that house and not let it just be auctioned off. The judge said no. So they're still having to leave the house. It doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter. All, all you need to know is they cannot afford the house at all let alone paying the bills that go along with it, which are the property taxes, the electric bill, the water bill, and everything else. And then you got to do the inside, which means you got to take care of you as well. You got to eat. You have to have clothes and, and, and everything. So at the end of the day, they cannot afford the house. They, they, they don't have the money to be able to afford it. So with Croy being so angry and him and Kim fighting like cats and dogs, even to the point to where small children had to intervene and call 911 because this bullshit has gotten way too far out of control. Croy yelled out that she's fucking other men. Now, if Croy said that, this is just my, my version of what I think. Croy was mad. And we know sometimes people say things when they are very mad at that moment. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily true. They could just be saying it out of anger. That could be one thing that he was doing. The second thing is that he said it more than once. And the reason Croy said that more than once is I think Croy knows something that Kim probably thinks he does not know. Somebody could have ran some information back to Croy and he could have done some checking on his own and possibly or allegedly found out something that she doesn't know that he knows. Now, in the midst of all of everything that's going on and her saying that she may take legal action against him, slandering her name and, you know, just it, it's not true. These allegations are not true. I don't think Kim is going to take any legal action because right now she can't afford to take any legal action. Who is she going to what's she going to pay them with her purses and her shoes? Lawyers don't want that. They need hard cash for them to work for you unless she can find somebody who will work for her now and pay later. Right now, they're trying to do everything they can to say one thing to the people on the outside, which is us, the public, and then try to get us to go over and click on this and click on that. And then every time you click on these different articles and things that they put up, what they don't tell you is they get paid. It's money that goes into the bank. Now, it's a good hustle, but it's not going to be enough to sustain what they're trying to live as far as that lifestyle that they've become accustomed to. Those little clicks here and there are not adding up to hundreds of thousands of dollars because they don't have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people following them. 
Kim has whatever she has. He has whatever they have. But we all know that a lot of the people, they join on. But a lot of times, they don't even participate in a lot of the stuff that you do. Just like on my page, a lot of people have joined on. But when I do a video, I don't see the same numbers adding up to the amount of people that have subscribed to the page. And that's fine to reach his own. Same thing for Kim and Croy. They can have a lot of people follow them on Twitter, but everybody's not participating on Twitter. She can have a lot of people following her on YouTube and anywhere else or Instagram, but everybody's not participating on there. They're just there because they want to be there until it becomes something that they want to participate in. That is why when she was auctioning her clothes and her shoes and purses and bags and belts and everything and then auctioning off Croy stuff, uh, trying to make money, that is why it was not as successful as she was trying to make people believe that it was because everybody did not participate. If everyone had participated, she wouldn't have anything else to sell. They would have bought it all. But in the midst of that, Croy yells, she's fucking other men. Now, if you look at her past, he could be yelling that from her past history that he knows of, of her messing with a married man, which was Big Papa, which we found out about on Real Housewives of Atlanta because it came out in a very ugly way and she finally owned up to it. But as you see, Big Papa was never brought to the show because he was still married and he was not going to be a part of it in that way. So he still helped her behind the scenes. Croy could be using that angle. Koi could have also gotten some information about Kim that she doesn't know that he is aware of. That is also a possibility. The last thing that I want to say is at the same time, now remember, she was working on this uh, this new upcoming show, which is not a new show. This is a show from the, the 90s coming into 2000, which is The Surreal Life. And they've already done some tapings for it. It's supposed to air in 2024. So she's betting on that being successful. It's, it's going to get views, but it's not going to be hugely successful because, again, the people in this day and age, they don't have the time span to sit up there and watch the shows like The Surreal Life and all this bullshit. They're, they're still watching Big Brother and stuff like that, but The Surreal Life, no, that that's you'll get a couple of paychecks, but it's not going to be season after season after season. And I know that's what she's betting on, but it's not going to be that. And then you're not even the, the lead in that. You're not they're not an A-list celebrity. You're basically just a washed up celebrity in the surreal house because that's what it's always been about. Celebrities who had their moment in the sun. Now we're going to put them all in the house together and let's see what happens. Yeah, that's surreal and it's life. And that's where she belongs. But we also saw a lot of allegedly things that were going on between Tom Hanks' son and her to where she looked like she was flirting with Tom Hanks' son. And I don't know if they got together or not, and I don't care, but her behavior could warrant Troy, I'm sorry, Troy, Croy to feel the way that he feels. If he saw that kind of behavior and they're still married, even though they're supposed to be separating and or divorcing, but they're still living in the same house, then he's going to feel the way that he feels because, OK, we're getting a divorce. Yes, we're separated. Yes, but they admitted that they were still sleeping together. But then if he saw her flirting with Tom Hanks son and that behavior, he could be using that also as fuel and saying the things that he is saying. She said she's never cheated on him in the 12 years that they've been together. I don't know if that's true or not, but if you were to ask me my opinion, I would say it's a lie. I would think that Kim has done something, maybe tiny, but she did it, and he doesn't know about it. That's just my opinion. Do I think that Croy has looked at other women while he's with her? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a lot of women in this world who can turn a man's head that don't do half of that bullshit that Kim has to do. They're just naturally beautiful. They don't need tons of wigs and weaves and makeup. Their body is perfect just the way it is. And they walk out the door and they can turn any head of a man just like that. Do I think he's seen women like that being in Atlanta? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do I think that Croy has cheated on her? In my opinion, I'm thinking no. Because he seemed to be so damn into her. Everything was Kim. Everywhere she went, he's there. Anytime she came out, he's there to drive her away. He was doing her hair and her makeup and every fucking thing else. He just seemed like he was so into this imitation of a Barbie doll. Not knowing, like I said in the last video, that she ended up being a cabbage patch. 
he wanted that Barbie doll. He got a cabbage patch. And every time we saw him, he wanted people to agree with him how hot his wife is. So I, I just believe Croy was so onto the physical, what he was looking at. He was just so stuck in that. And a lot of it was man-made because she went and got a ton of stuff done and she admitted it. And you can look at her now and tell she's had her nose done at least twice. She's had her boobs done probably more than once. She's had her body uh, sculpted and everything else. And she still doesn't look any damn better. She still looks basic. If you're going to get work done, and this is just me saying it, I say if you're going to get it done, you want to look like somebody like Janet Jackson, who got it done way back in the day, who was already naturally pretty before she even got it done. And then when you look at Janet today, still beautiful. She could take the makeup and stuff off. And when she smiles, you can still just see how pretty she was when she was a little girl. Kim takes her makeup off. It's Fright Night. Have you guys not seen her without her makeup and all that bullshit? I don't believe personally that Kim is going to take any type of legal action against Croy for him yelling out that she's fucking other men. I know that it's slanderous in her words, and I know that she feels that it gets messing up her reputation. But at the end of the day, what kind of reputation do you actually have? Because people still see you as a gold digger, even though you don't have any money. They still see you as a woman who will come in between another husband and a wife to try to mess up that. So you mess with married men. And Big Papa is no, no angel either because he knew that he was married. So he's wrong in that as well. Remember, I'm 50-50. If you did it together, you go down together. She's not going to take any legal action against Croy. Where is the money going to come from? You think she's going to pull it from that under 300000 that they have left? They're still going out to eat these fancy dinners and lunches and breakfasts. And then they still have to maintain their life of clothes, shelter, feeding the children. And then they still get all these bills and lawsuits of creditors that are all filing lawsuits against them. And they're filing lawsuits hard, fast, and every single day it looks like another lawsuit is being filed against them. Croy has yelled, she wants money and we don't have it. So if we don't have it. We means both of them together. We. How's she going to pay a fucking lawyer to go after Croy for what he said? If that's the case, then Croy should go after her ass for saying that the marriage, just in her opinion, was a sham from the beginning because that's what Kim said. I'm figuring if we're going to do tit for tat, then just let's just do tit for fucking tat. He yelled, basically, she's a whore. She yelled, the marriage was a sham from the beginning. So then let's just go at each other. It's going to be War of the Roses. If you haven't seen that movie, check that movie out. I believe it's Kathleen Turner and Michael Douglas, if I'm not mistaken. War of the Roses. Because that's what we're seeing in real time. I just don't get how they even got themselves in this damn position. They're still fighting like cats and dogs because that's what's still being said by family, friends, and people in the area that live there. I actually do have a connection of one person that is not that far from where they that house is. So they have connections to people in the neighborhood. So they get what they need to get and they'll give me just a little bit of information and I'll take it, even though it's just a little bit, I'll still take it. So they're still arguing, they're still fighting about money and everything. Stuff is still leaving out of the house. Automobiles and stuff, pretty much gone. Lawsuits are still coming in. Friends are separating and distancing themselves from them because they don't want any part of them anymore. They're telling them, just go your own way and, and, and just leave it at that because the kids are now getting involved. And the last thing that they need is to be involved. You're tearing the family apart because you don't have enough strong enough love to make it last. And that's really sad on both sides. This is 1814 Dread Ahead. You guys let me know what, how you think or what you think about Kim saying that she may take legal action against Croy, saying that she's fucking other men. She finds it slanderous and more. And she says she's thinking about taking legal action. I'll put the article below along with the link. You guys let me know what you think. 
I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>